I'm Cindy Walter, author of Fine Hand Quilting and teacher at some of the international shows. I will be teaching hand quilting at the upcoming Paducah AQS show and of course um, Houston's festival, the International Quilt Festival. So come see me. But if you can't get to class, I want to give you a couple tips. Of course we need a thread clipper. Anything you have will work well and um, a good needle. I love a, a 10, a size 10 with the large eyes. Love this needle. But most importantly is a good thread. When I first started hand quilting, I had to use regular old cotton thread. And my goodness, the problems you'd come across. The thread would fray and it would break. And, it, and then it would knot up while you're using it. And of course in the olden days, we'd have to use beeswax and wax that thread to make it easier. But not for a long time. I discovered Guterman. Guterman thread made my hand quilting the easiest ever. So let me show you some of its attributes. I think you'll just love it. Maybe I'll show you with the, uh, with the white. Some of the attributes are it's on a spool and you just unwind it. Thread has nap like hair or fish scales and it just needs to go through the project in the right direction. But you never have to remember that again if you do one tip, thread the needle first and then where I clip it off the spool, I'm going to make the knot. And then the thread's always going in the right direction. To th so to thread with this uh, type of thread, instead of using the beeswax or licking your fingers or licking the thread or any of those techniques like I mentioned, I'm simply going to cut a clean snip on the top of this thread. So I have this a is a great tip. I know you can't see it on the camera, but I pull the thread down to where I can barely see it. I did clip a clean cut and I'm going to set the needle right on it and there I can pull it out. So thread the needle though any way you can, but clip it clean first. We used to lick the thread and do all those things to get it ink and that makes it worse. So clip it clean and then you can thread the needle easily with that nice clean piece of thread. Now again, if I just, uh, maybe 18 inches, I go a little more. This thread, Gooderman thread, does not fray, so I can go quite a bit longer. But you don't want to be throwing your arm up to pull the thread out, so this is a good distance. Now all I'm going to do is clip it here. Remember, I put the knot where I clip it, and I'll show you a nice, quick, easy uh, quilter's knot. And with this thread, it is so strong. I only need two knots, so I'm going to put the tip of the thread under my finger, wrap twice, grab it all, and that's it. Pull it on out, and I have a beautiful little quilter's knot, just like that, and that will hold the whole project perfectly. Now, to get started, another thing with this thread, since I only needed to knot twice to hold that thread, I have an old sample here that many of us have quilted on, so just ignore everything on this. But I'll just show you. To get started, let's say if I want to start right here. I come up inside and I catch the batting and I come up right where I want to start. Give it a nice tug now. I tug slightly and there it is. I've sunk the thread and it's just that easy. So remember, a good quality thread. If you, if you have a nice quality thread, you don't have to uh, use beeswax. You don't have to lick the tip of it. It will easily thread and hand quilting is truly just that fun and easy. See you in class. Okay. By the way, I'm working at my home in Hawaii and look at my terrible view.